What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, DN Dual Commentary. Destiny is my existence. Up at the top here, playing Cosmos 1468 versus VRZ, playing what I believe is Magispector, um, Magispector Speedroids. Now, aren't they? I think they're machines, right? Okay, that's what I was thinking. Because he, um, I believe he went first, he summoned uh, Fox and searched out Tornado. Well, maybe he searched out Tornado, who knows. Ooh, Spell Shattering Arrow. I'm going to say that this is not game one, because most people don't main that. However, he can negate with Totem Bird. He can actually negate with Totem Bird. Uh, looks like he's going to do that. But he's got a Totem Bird on field, um, setting the scales. Uh, Cosmo Wicked Witch was summoned. And she tried to run over or probably try and clash with the totem bird. And he immediately flipped over the uh, tornado. Looks like he's getting Tempest now. Now, it's not that big of a deal with, like, your Cosmos getting banished. Because Cosmos, like, you'd rather have your Cosmos banished than in the graveyard anyways. Much better to get him back with um, Strawman and, uh, what's it called, Cosmo Town. So, looks like um, he just pendulumed one, pendulumed the fox back, and... Got himself a copy of Tempest. I actually think... Oh, activate Solemn Warning. So I guess there will be no searching. Alright, so he has to put his Tempest back. And that's unfortunate. Because uh, he only had like one monster. And his monster is Gonzo. Uh, did not normal summon though. And is not going to normal summon. So, interesting to see how this deck is going to actually work. Because I would imagine if he... Oh, roll to Kree... That that one hurt him, but he still has to get over a 1900 monster. Now again, he could he had to use the totem bird to save his pendulum skills, obviously. So um, raw decree would put a whooping on him with a uh, what's it called? Unless he can't. Okay, so summon straw man and just attacks does not activate the effect. Okay, I thought maybe he might activate the effect. Uses honest. Um, okay. Uh, my question is, why would he not just get, why would he not pay that 500 and get the Wicked Witch out and just have Wicked Witch clash, and then you could have saved your Honest. Um, alright, so top deck's Cat. Cat's gonna activate. Doesn't Cat activate during the end phase? Um, okay, so I guess he's just, whoa, why is he running into this? Uh oh, what? I am lost, guys. Does he want this in his pendulum zone or what? Oh, I get what he's doing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This totally made sense. He wanted to attack the. He wanted to. I think Dest I think Destiny is my existence. Just got like raffle troll there. Uh, he wanted to attack it so that he could to it so that it could die and so that he could take minimal damage, only four hundred essentially, which now it's only five hundred. Waste of an honest boys. Um, and then he wanted to pendulum summon it back in defense so that if he top deck something bigger like Dark Destroyer, he would take way less damage. So that makes a lot of sense. Now, why Destiny is my existence um, has not used Strawman's effect? Wait a minute, does Strawman have to be high level monsters? Let me just see. No, it says once per turn you can pay 500 and then target one of your banished Cosmo monsters, special summon it. I get that its effects are negated and it dies, but it just seems like it could have been useful getting over the totem bird instead of having, he could have had double honest now. Now that was like the best top deck ever that VRZ could have gotten. He got a copy of, um, he got a copy of, uh, raccoon. He still, he still actually needs to get rid of this though. I mean, he could exceed and go into like Castell. That would be help. That would be kind of helpful. Or he'd go into lightning story. That might be just as helpful too. Have to give up a hundred attack though. Okay. So. He normal summoned um, Raccoon, then Pendulum summoned Fox to get a second copy of Tempest. But again, uh, he'll have to do some type of exceeding there. Wait, what, did I say Castle? I'm sorry, he only has one level four on, on board. He can go for a three. So, mm, goes for another Totem Bird. I I respect this play because he can get over the Straw Man um, unless he has some type of attack stopper. That I can't think of. Yeah, he can get over the straw man, and then he has a negate for things like um, if he top decks Cosmo Town or whatever. But he doesn't really seem to be that interested in getting Wicked Witch out of the Banished Zone anyway. So sets another monster, despite the fact that so, excuse me, sets another back row. Sets two back row, even though he's under rolled the Creed. Do he don't even care? Uh, another straw man is top decked. Okay. 
Now, even even if um, VRZ loses his field, he could just pendulum it back. Assuming he doesn't lose his pendulum monsters, he can at least just pendulum the fox back and just kind of stall with that. So he's thinking about on summon. Oh, he plays Magic Specter Cyclone. Fair enough. All right. And um, Destiny is my existence. Has the Dart Destroyer. That's unfortunate. He actually got that Dart Destroyer combo. Um, so goodbye to uh, Totem Bird. That thing is going to get blown up. And he'll definitely probably take about 3,000. Although, I guess Destiny is thinking about what he wants to blow up, maybe. If he's thinking maybe he wants to blow up his actually what I would do is I blow the I blow it I blow the um Dart Destroyer up. I bring out oh no. I would have brought out what's it called? I think that I would have probably given up Dart Destroyer to pop a pendulum scale so that he couldn't pendulum any more monsters back. Cause if nothing else, VRZ is probably gonna struggle to get over the Dart Destroyer, but at the very least he can I mean he can stall for a while. And now that he got Majesty's Pegasus, he can stall for quite a while. Obviously pinned out the um, the Fox. I don't even know if he has any. He probably has the last uh, Magic Specter Tempest, like the last copy. All right, gets his Solemn Strike. And I think this deck, if you're playing like pure Magic Specters or a heavy Magic Specter build, I guess, the, I think the idea would probably be like to run probably like one or two Tempest and just the rest be like Solemn Strike since you don't have to have a monster. All right, then goes for a cat, then adds raccoon. It's still just going to be so hard getting over, like, that card. I mean, getting over um, Dark Destroyer is just going to be a bitch. Like, he's going to have to find a way to get to, like, I don't know. Dude. He's going to have to find a way to get to, like, Ignista or something. Uh, I, I hope he runs. I really hope that the guy runs, um, like, Luster Pendulum. If not, I'm trying to think of... Well, I guess he could go for, like, Red Scarlet Archfiend because he runs Speedroid, so I would assume that there's some tuners in there. All right, goes for Raccoon. Um, or if he got, well, no, Karen targets too. Uh, no, nah, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I really, really can't think of anything. Uh, this is definitely the uphill grind when you play Magic Specters is dealing with a Dart Destroyer. Because you can have like 10 cards and that one Dark Destroyer, you can just out everything. Although Karen would be pretty useful. Goes for Yada, which can search a spell. Most people only play like one copy of um of the um the quick play spell, the one that destroys a monster. I can't think of what the name is. It has um it has Fox on it on the card. He's like in some type of like he's in some like grass or something like that. So, but he can he can pin like four monsters and just chill. He can do a pendulum summon and chill, baby. And just kind of drag the game out a little bit until he can somehow find a way to answer that. Okay, summons Fox, but in a, summons everything in attack mode. And he's got the wall of the mini specters. Why they're all in attack mode, I don't get. I would probably summon them in defense. Okay, I guess he's planning to exceed immediately. Maybe there's acid golem, who knows. Oh, okay, goes for, um, what's it called? Goes for a gen. This is the one that doubles its attack, right? All right. Muzu Rhythm. Oh, so he runs Abyss Dweller. Okay. So Abyss Dweller will obviously make it so Dark Destroyer can't use its effect, and then Jen will double its attack. So he'll be able to clash, essentially. So it's, I guess it's a really good thing that he runs that card. Now, unless he has, he, uh, well, no, I was going to say, unless he has Honest, do a Dark Monster. <laughs> Can't use Honest on a Dark Monster, guys. Don't try that at home. But he still can't end the game because that's just how Magic Specters are. They don't do a lot of damage even when they have like an open field. It's just not that not that much damage in the deck. So can't end the game. Although Destiny is my existence. Can't really use Cosmo Town anymore. Doesn't have the light points to get anything important out except Strawman. And even if he did that, he wouldn't be able to use its effect. Because he doesn't have the life points to do that. So, Cosmos do cost a little bit of life points. And looks like he didn't get what he needed. But, still an interesting concept. Even though, for the most part, the Magic Specters did all the heavy lifting. We did see that there were some speed roids in there. Thank you guys for watching as always.